What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, I want to show you guys how to upgrade to iOS 12 for free with no developer's account right now on your iPhone. So it's really simple to do. If you guys didn't know, WWDC was today and there was a lot of things announced. There's a lot of new features and new apps in iOS 12. So I wanted to give you guys this video just in case you wanted to test it out for yourself and install it on your device. Now keep in mind, of course, this is a beta, so there's going to be bugs. There's really no point in complaining about bugs or issues that you have with your phone if you upgrade to a beta like I'm gonna show you how to do right now. So if you do upgrade and you have issues and you wanna downgrade, you can always do that. You just downgrade your device to whatever Apple is signing at that time. Now I would recommend if you do wanna jailbreak that you keep your device on 11.3.1. .1. There's very possible going to be a new jailbreak being released really soon. So that's just a word of caution if you are going to upgrade to iOS 12. So here we go. Let's go ahead and tap on Safari and we're just gonna go to this website right here and I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to click on. And it's basically gonna give you two buttons right here, slow download and the turbo download. So you just wanna tap on slow download because it's free. And this is just a beta profile, so it's really small. So it shouldn't take long to download at all. So you should get this little pop-up right here. So we're just gonna tap on allow. And then it's going to allow you to install this iOS 12 beta profile. So just tap on install tap in your passcode, and then it's going to allow you to install that profile. Now, I actually already have this profile here, but you can just restart your device once this is done. So I'll go ahead and do that, and it's coming back right now. So once it's back up, it's gonna be really simple to upgrade. It's just gonna be an over-the-air update. So you're just gonna go into your settings, tap on general software update, and then you'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and tap on uh, our code in. Let's go ahead and open up our settings. We're gonna scroll down here to general, software update, and I've actually already downloaded this, but you'll just have to tap right here to download it, then it's gonna prepare the download, and then you can install it. So I'll go ahead and install it now. Now, of course, it's gonna be really congested because everybody's gonna be trying to download this, but it hopefully won't take too long. I actually already used this method on an iPhone 7 Plus and installed perfectly, so I just wanted to test it out before you know I showed you guys how to do it. So this is on my iPhone 10, and hopefully it won't take too long to install, but once it's complete, I'll let you know how long it took. All right, so we're done upgrading to iOS 12. So you can see we'll just swipe up, type in our passcode. Do that one more time for the computer here. And then tap on continue, continue. Agree to the terms and conditions. We'll set this up later in wallet. Need to do that right now. <clears throat> and just get through all of these and you can swipe up and we'll go into our settings on general about and you can see we're on iOS 12 so we should have uh, some of the new apps as well so you can see the new measure app so this is basically going to allow you to measure things with your iPhone to make things a whole lot easier you don't have to use you know a tape measure or anything like that so this is definitely iOS 12 I just wanted to show you that this method does work and if you want to check it out this is how you do it all right guys I'll go into more depth into iOS 12 in later videos let me know what you guys think about iOS 12 and of course if you have any issues installing iOS 12 on your device make sure you leave a comment in the comments below help each other out and also if you find features that weren't announced at WWDC, make sure you leave a comment in the comments below. And if I find something in the comments that I haven't found myself, I'll be sure to give you guys credit in the video when I do a video on the top features. All right guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. Of course, if you guys wanna stay up to date with everything Apple and anything else I wanna cover, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.